Hey, look who it is. It's that guy who releases a couple of videos and then disappears for a year. <laughs> yep, it's me. I'm back. I'm very sorry it's been so long. Um, I've moved house again. Uh, I think last video I was talking about how I moved house. So that's uh, kept me busy. And it's just taken a while to get all this manga out of the box again and uh, you know settle into a new place. And I've just been inundated with stuff. I work as well. But finally, on this rainy day, I have time and I really want to do a new manga collection video for you guys. So let's get right into it. I have a lot of new stuff to show you. Um, for once, I've not got much new manga in a while, but here I finally have a lot of new series. Let's start at the top shelf as usual. Over to the left, as usual, we have volume 1 to 13, because we've got the special of Death Note, uh, we've got the Another Note, and L Changed the World novels, we've got Gintama, 1, 2, 23, which is the full set in English, because Viz uh, gave up on it after the 23rd volume, which is disappointing, but... You know what, if it's not selling, they're a company and they need to make a profit, so I'm not too annoyed about it, but I do love Gintama. It would have been nice to have the rest, but at least we got to volume 23, which is still a good number. We've got Sayuki 1, we've got Evangelion 1 to 14, which is the full series. I'm finally glad to have all the complete set. Um, the single volumes, some of them were out of print for a while, so there must have been a reprint along the line somewhere, because um, they started popping up again, so I snatched them up. Now I have volume 1 to 14. Uh, some of them were mega cheap, like volume 8 I got for £1. That's probably why it's got that, it's an older edition. But really glad to have Evangelion complete. Next we have March Story 1 to 5. This is a new manga in my collection. Let's go down onto the floor so I can show this better. Uh, March Story is um, a, not a, a manga I know a lot about. It's uh, I think it was recommended to me on Amazon, usually I just delete those emails because it doesn't recommend me there's a junk but the cover of this really catch my eye it looked like a, a kind of really gothic more a more gothic edgy soul eater kind of uh thing which uh i don't think it's actually anything like soul eater that's just what the artwork reminded me of in the style um but the art is what really attracted me to this series and if you like it maybe you want to have a look online See if the story will interest you, and if it does, maybe check it out. Maybe you want to pause the video and read that. But, yeah, March story, very intriguing. I've not read it yet, but I'm really interested to. It's only five volumes, so a nice, cheap series to buy and collect. Next we have Pretty Face. One, two, three, four, five, and six in out of focus there. Uh, welcome to the NHK 1 to 8, Nana 1 to 21, still on hiatus. Personally, I don't think it's going to come back, but even if it doesn't, um, an incomplete Nana is still better than no Nana at all. Um, it's a brilliant series, and I really do recommend it. We've got Black God 1 to 19 complete. We've finally got the full set. I think in the past, um, of well, many, many years, I've had volumes 1 to 10, um, but the Empress have finally released the rest. And I thought, you know what, it's probably going to go out of print soon. So I got the rest quickly and now I have the full set. I've only read up to volume 10, really interested and, you know, I'm intrigued to see what happens. Because Black God's a series, I never know where it's going. Um, and it's uh, done by Korean authors, I think, um, in one of the uh, little afterwards, they say it's very strange for them because they draw the manga in Korea and send it over to Japan, and it's translated and released in Japan. So that's really um, a roundabout way to do it, but you can see why it was released, um, and they went through all the effort of getting it into Korea, sending it over to Japan, somewhere translating it, because it is a good series. And uh, the anime is very disappointing, but I do like the manga. Here we have What a Wonderful World by Inio Asano, author of Pun Pun and Solonin. Uh, down here we've got Rosip Zero, 1 to 5, Peacemaker, 1 to 5, and Peacemaker Kurigane 1 to 4. Kurigane was 5 volumes. Um, it's actually resumed recently, but as we know, Tokyo Pop are no more. So that's as much as I'm going to get of that. Eden, It's an Endless World by Hiroki Endo 1 to 12. There's actually 14 out at the moment. I think there's 18 or 19 in total. The series finished 
ages ago. I think it actually started in the 90s. Um, and Dark Horse are still releasing manga. So I have no idea what the holdup is with Eden. Maybe it's just not selling for them. Um, but I'm probably not going to get the rest unless they finish the series. Um, because I have read it and it's more for reread and collection purposes at the moment. Um, but it's a wonderful series. I really do wish they would finish it. But it's been about three years, I think, since the last volume, which is crazy. So here we have a Nana art book, which I think I've shown before, so I won't show again. Uh, we've got Yotsubo 1 to 10, with a third released by ADV and the rest by Yem Press. But same content inside, that's what matters. We've got Genshiken 1 to 9. Genshiken is actually a. Uh, Resumed as well. We've got a new series of Genshiken going, which I'm, I'm interested in because Genshiken is one of my favorites. So I will probably invest in that at some point because Genshiken is great. We've got Mahoromatic 1 to 8, three Japanese volumes of Gintama because I love Gintama. And now we have Dragon Ball, which is new for my collection. I decided to go with the three in one editions and really packed in here. Um, there's so many editions of Dragon Ball. You've got the three in ones, you've got the two in ones, you've got the color books, you've got the single volumes. I decided to get these because they are the best value, for, the the best value for money. I've got uh, the most recent one down here with Trunks on the cover. Uh, I've got up to volume thirty. That's what's released so far. They usually release a new one every two or three months. Um, I think the last one came out September. So a new one should be out next month, maybe in December. Um, what I am disappointed about these is the paper quality is very low. I mean, it's very thin. It's You can see how big this book is, but how easily I can kind of, you know, flick through it. Um, and also there is some printing errors and it is, you know, released. They say it's the first uncut version of Dragon Ball buy this one you this is how it is in japan and uh, this is how it was released that is not true in volume one at least uh the others all look pretty good in volume one there is some censored material so it's not truly the first uncut volume of dragon ball um i remember reading uh a big kind of um uh article online about how no it, it wasn't uncut and uh, Viz, they uh, sent the guy a tweet, and they was like, oh, sorry, um, some something got through, some uh, sense of material slipped through somewhere. We'll fix that in later volumes. This is one of the later volumes, because that tweet was from years ago, so this must be uh, a reprint, and they haven't fixed it, which I'm really disappointed to find, because, you know, you want Uncut. You want what it's released as in Japan. Um, so that's disappointing, but these are the best value for money. Volume 1 to 30, 30 individual books in these collections I got for about £60 in the UK, which is really good for the amount of manga you are actually getting. <clears throat> Excuse me. So good value for money, but not the best quality editions. Maybe I'll do a video about these, um, you know, about uh, the Dragon Ball books alone, maybe a kind of buyer's guide. Because uh, I know a lot of people ask me, you know, how's the page quality in this? How is, how is that? Is this a good edition? And the Dragon Ball is a good series to start with. So if you guys want that, I might do that. Uh, down here we've got... Oh, I'm losing my voice. We've got Dream Fossil. We've got Blue Spring and Tropic of the Sea. Blue Spring by Terry Matsumoto, my favourite mangaka. And Tropic of the Sea and, by, uh, and Dream Fossil by Satoshi Kon. We've also got Seraphim... Uh, Three no seraphim two six 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 one three 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 six wings that is the title and opus also by Satoshi Khan. I've said it before when I was talking about Tropical Sea. It's disappointing that only after Satoshi Khan's passed away his um, manga is released, but I'm very glad Dark Horse have released it because you know everybody needs a bit more con in their lives. And before he was oh this is packed in there. Can't get it out. Um, before he was a very prolific anime director and, uh, you know, got on his way with Perfect Blue, he was a mangaka and his artwork is fantastic. It's very, um, similar to Katsuhiro Otomo, uh, you know, of Akira fame. Um, he was assistant to Otomo, I believe. So that is Satoshi Kon was an assistant. Um, and, uh, Opus is actually interesting because it's not finished. 
Uh, I don't know if it was abandoned by Con or if he's just busy with anime or something else, but the last few chapters are actually storyboards of a proposed ending. I don't think it actually ends, which is very interesting because you won't really see that. You know, a big um, book, this is actually a two in one, this is two volumes. Uh, you know, you wouldn't really see something released that's not complete, but I guess it's a special case with Con. You know, there's is is very popular in Japan and abroad. So even though it's not got an ending, people will still want to read this, and I'm very glad Dark Horse have released it. Over here we've got Zoo in Winter: The Walking Man, A Distant Neighborhood by Jiro Tanaguchi, who I love. Um, a Distant Neighborhood is actually getting re-released this Christmas, I believe, with um, hard covers. These are the paperback editions. Uh, I think The Walking Man has already been released uh, as a hard cover, but I love this because the cover continues around. Very good. Jiro Tanaguchi is a brilliant artist. We have The Ice Wanderer and Other Stories and Quest for the Missing Girl, also by Jiro Tanaguchi, which I love. And now we have, I think... This is another new manga for my collection. I don't think it was in the previous videos. We've got Monster by Naoki Urasawa. I love Naoki Urasawa. Um, 20th Century Boy is one of my favourite series. Uh, I love Pluto. Right now I'm reading Billy Bat, which I'm really loving. I really hope that gets an, an English release one day from either Viz or Kudansha. Um, I haven't read Monster yet. I always wanted to, um, but... I don't know, I'd never bought it. And then these two-in-ones came out and I thought, that's it. These are the volumes I'm going to get. So I've got uh, the first five, so that's the first ten volumes. I'll probably relate, uh, relate. I'll probably wait until the first, uh, I think it's 18 volumes altogether. So I'll probably wait for uh, one or two more books because I hate reading a manga and then having to wait if I catch up. I'd rather have the full set before I start. And I do prefer reading it in books than online. I like to support the industry, as you can see, which is why I have all these. So I'm going to wait a bit longer before I start Monster, but no doubt I will enjoy it. We've got Gone 1, 2, 7. I've talked so much about Gone, I won't even mention it anymore. I've got Vinan Saga 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, which I talked about in my previous video, so again, I won't waffle on about that but um kodansha have said it went on hiatus for a bit shortly after i bought the um the first uh, i think five uh, which i was a bit annoyed about because um i hate buying manga that's just going to be incomplete i have an incomplete um sets which is why i quickly got the rest of black god and evangelion because having an incomplete collection just doesn't do it for me as good as the manga is i want to have it all because you know why wouldn't you so Kodansha have said, if you want the rest to come out, I think they've got the license up to the volume 7. So if you want the rest to come out, buy it. You need to support it and uh, you need to show them that you want it. And then hopefully they can get the license for the rest. So please, if you do like Vinland Saga, if you're interested, now's the time to get it. Because if you don't get it and it goes out of print, that's it. And if you do get it and it goes out of print, at least you have 14 really good volumes albeit it will be incomplete but maybe if you buy it, they get enough support they release the rest so hopefully that's what happens because i really really am interested in villain saga still haven't started it just haven't had the time but i do hope kodansha are able to continue with it ikigami volume one and we've got pluto one to eight by naoki urasawa nausicaa of the valley of the wind by Hayao miyazaki of course We've got FLCL, Trigon 1, 2, and then Trigon Maximum 1 to 14, which is the full set. We've got Mushishi 1 to 10, still missing that volume 6, which is going through ridiculous prices online. MW by Tezuka, we got Azumanga Daio, we got Solonin, um, Town of Evening Calm, Country of Cherry Blossoms, SS Astro, Ping Pong. Oh, I love Ping Pong so much, but they just won't release it in English. Viz just are not interested in it, it seems. I've tweeted him, I've sent them emails, I've asked them at conventions, why don't you guys release Ping Pong? Because they support Satoshi, uh, not Satoshi, they support Terry Matsumo so much. You've got Tekon King Kui, you've got Gogo -Go Monster, you've got Blue Spring, and Ping Pong received an anime adaptation recently from Masaki Yuasa, who's the director of Mind Game, and uh, loads of um, good anime series. And uh, the anime was received really well on the internet. I'd seen loads of people getting into the manga because of it. 
And I thought, oh, this is finally it. Ping Pong is finally going to be released because it's got an anime. Um, and I, I remember reading on Kodansha's Tumblr because they they answer questions on there. Very, very um, good of them to do that. And uh, they said the best way to, you know, kind of a manga to gain traction, to get really popular is for it to have an anime adaptation. So I was like, yes, Ping Pong. It's got an anime adaptation. They're going to release the manga. Viz are going to do it. And nothing. It's still not here. Which is a real shame. This is in France. Uh, this is in France. This is in French. Um, but I love Ping Pong. The artwork, especially in the later volumes, is so good. The level of um, movement that Teo Matsumo is able to display in these still images is fantastic. It flows so well, the artwork. And you follow a Ping Pong, um, I guess it's a rally so well and it's so intense and exciting um and ping pong is one of the best manga i've ever read and probably my favorite manga not released in english so i really really wish viz would release it but even they don't hello french volumes i guess i've already got the first one might as well get the rest although maybe i should get the japanese one this is in japanese uh, this is the Laundromat Lady, which is an English title. I can't remember what it is in Japanese. Uh, this is a manga I, I did read online and I loved, and it's not released in English. So I thought, you know what, I'll buy it in Japanese, support the author. Um, it was very cheap. It's about £6, which is cheaper than some English volumes. It's ridiculous. I think I got it free shipping or something. But uh, yeah, this is just a kind of similar comedy to Gintama. It's a comedy series. And it's about a, a girl, I don't know how old she's supposed to be really, probably mid-twenties. And she owns a laundromat and she loves scaring the customers. Sometimes she like pins, she hangs herself, uh, other times she dresses as a bear, she hides inside. Uh, it's a really funny series, um, which again would be good if it was released in English, but I just don't think this is popular enough to get uh, an English release. Unlike Ping Pong, come on Viz. Um, we've got Go Go Monster, we've got Stargazing Dog which is another new um, book for my collection. I, my girlfriend got me this for my birthday, I believe. Um, this is a very, very emotional, um, a nice, just a very nice book, a very nice manga. It's just, you read this and this is, you think, oh, this is a really nice story. Um, very emotional though. If you have a dog, definitely check it out. If you don't have a dog, check it out. If you have a pet, check it out. Either way, Check it out because it's a very good manga and the artwork is beautiful as well. Look at that cover. Released by... What is that? I don't know the company that releases this. It won't even focus. But it's something comics. I don't think they release much manga anyway, but at least they release this because it's brilliant. Uh, next we have Tech on Concrete uh, by the wonderful Teo Matsumoto. We've got Satoshi Kon, Kon's Works. This has actually been released in English now, although it's mainly an art book, so... But I believe the English edition has a hardcover, so if you prefer that, it's probably cheaper as well. This is the Japanese one. Um, I'm a big fan of Satoshi Kon, so I hunted this down online and played ridiculous prices for it. Uh, we've got Akira, 1-6. to six. I thought, you know what, let's, let's go for it, let's get Akira. I've always wanted to read Akira, so... Um, a couple months back, I, I, I finally got the rest... I had volume one for a while. And um you know what I, I I like the Akira anime film, um, but I just I think it needed just a bit more. Uh it felt a bit lacking to me and the manga definitely just definitely does have more, so I think I'm really gonna enjoy this. Uh, by Katsuhiro Otomo, of course. Artwork is brilliant, very detailed, very crisp. Really looking forward to getting into Akira. On the final bottom shelf, we've got a lot of miscellaneous volumes. Gurren Lagann 1, Nodame 1, 2, Rurouni Kenshin 1, Aizu 6, D Grey Man 1, Haruhi 1, 2, Blood Plus 1, 2, Oh My Goddess 1 and 4, 1, 2, 4, and over here we've got Bleach 1, 2, 26. Um, they're down here because they just don't really go anywhere else. And I want to um, sell them at some point because, as I've mentioned, I prefer having complete collections. Um, when I started collecting manga, I was like, yeah, I'll get that, I'll get this. Um, but I've been gone, I must have been collecting for about pff, over a decade now. And uh, I'm just at a point now where I only want to really buy series that I want to complete. 
So I want to get rid of these. And also, if you watch my videos before, you might think something's missing. There is uh, something gone. And that is correct. In these boxes here is more manga. I've got 1 to 8 of 20th Century Boys, 1 to 7 of Slam Dunk, 1 to 8 of Vagabond, and 1 to 14 of Claymore, which I also want to sell because I've already read them. And uh, the full series, that is. And I'm probably not going to get the rest. So, why not sell them, get more money, and then get more manga? So that's it for my collection. I hope you enjoyed it. And it was good to finally be able to show you some new manga. Because I know I did a few um, collection videos where I got very few in between. So it's kind of the same thing. But yeah. That is my collection. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry it's been so long, and sorry this video is so long. If you watch this, you're probably crazy. If you listen to me for 20 minutes, you're crazy. But thank you. Um, have a good day.